Hey, good morning to you Cross His Families. Caleb here, and I'm so excited to bring you our big idea and our word today. But before we get into things, we gotta pray. Let's do this. Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you that we get to come here and learn about you together as a family. Uh, just pray that what we've learned doesn't leave our minds and our hearts, but we take it everywhere we go. We love you so much. In your name we pray. So for the whole month of February, we are learning about how Jesus shows compassion. So every Sunday, we're learning about different stories of how Jesus shows compassion and different big ideas that we can apply to our life. And so today's big idea is Jesus loves sinners. And this big idea is so true. I know I'm a sinner and I know I need saving and I know that Jesus loves me. And our story is from the book of Luke chapter 7, verses 36 through 50. And this is the story of the woman who anoints Jesus' feet. And personally, I love this story because it shows how much Jesus really loves those that are lost. So in the story, Jesus is at this Pharisee's house. And as Jesus is there, there was a woman that heard that he was at this house. And so she came on over because she wanted to see Jesus. And I'm going to read it right here from Luke chapter 7, verses 36 through 50. Here we go, at verse 38. As she stood behind him at his feet, weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them with her hair, kissed them, and poured perfume on them. And so this woman was so overcome with love, overwhelmed that Jesus was there. And so she started crying, and tears were falling on his feet. And she said, I want to clean your feet. And she didn't have a towel or a rag, but she chose to wipe his feet with her hair. With her hair. Wow. And she used this perfume that she had to clean his feet also. And it was said that this alabaster jar would probably have been worth about $45 in our time today. And for someone back then, that was a lot of money. And she was using all of it to wash Jesus' feet. And obviously, they're in the Pharisee's house. So here we are in verse 39. When the Pharisee who invited him saw this, he said to himself, If this man was a prophet, he would know who is touching him and what kind of woman she is, and that she is a sinner. And so obviously, everybody in this house knows who this woman is, and they know that she is a sinner. And they're thinking to themselves, Wow, if she's a sinner... Why is she doing all of these things for Jesus? There's no way she's worthy to be anointing Jesus' feet, right? And so Jesus gives them an example and says this in verse 40. Jesus answered him, Simon, I have something to tell you. Tell me, teacher, he said. Two people owed money to a certain money lender. One owed him 500 denarii and the other 50. Neither of them had the money to pay him back. So he forgave the debts of both. Now, which of them will love him more? Simon replied, I suppose the one who had the bigger debt forgiven. You have judged correctly, Jesus said. And so as we move on, Jesus is trying to tell Simon that this woman, as soon as she got inside the house, she would not stop loving on Jesus. She would not stop cleaning his feet giving him kisses, doing all these amazing things for him, when the very person who owns the house has not done anything, even remotely close to what this woman is doing. And so Jesus is telling Simon that she has realized that she is a sinner and that Jesus is the one who can save her. And so she is treating Jesus with all the love that she has. Every penny is going to Jesus. And he's telling Simon, you have barely done anything for me. And so this woman right here is everything I'm focusing on because her sins are now forgiven. And I'm showing her how much I love her by forgiving her sins. And so everyone gets to see this. Everyone sees that Jesus is focusing on the lost, focusing on that person. And now they get to understand who Jesus is a little bit more. And so for us, our big idea is Jesus loves sinners. I'm a sinner. Raise your hand if you're a sinner. Raise your hand if you make mistakes. That is all of us. None of us are perfect. And so we need to be saved. And what's so awesome is that Jesus died on the cross for you and for me, taking our sin on his shoulders and leaving it 
on the cross. And then he rose again three days later, proving that there's nothing, absolutely nothing, that can hold him down. Nothing too small and nothing too big for Jesus. And so for us, friends, we make mistakes all the time. And I know that sometimes when I make mistakes, I bring myself down. And I know that I, yeah, it's hard sometimes. And so for you, when you start feeling that way, when you start to get in that rut, when you realize, man, I need to change, you need to remember who Jesus is. Remember this story of the woman and remember how Jesus loved on her and forgave her sins. Jesus has already forgiven your sins by dying on the cross for you. And so now you get to live with that freedom from now on. And so it doesn't mean that you get to start sinning and doing all these other things and then asking for forgiveness again. That's not how it works. Why do we want to be respectful? We want to know that, man, Jesus made this sacrifice and that we can live better. We can do better. And so from now on, remember that Jesus loves you and that he died for your sins and that one day you get to live with him forever in heaven. That is amazing. And so challenge is to write down a few things that Jesus has done for you and how he showed you love. And then that way, once you write those things out, you can share them with your families and then you guys can all see the amazing things that Jesus has done. That's all I have for you today, everybody. Have a good week. I'll see you next time.